Rick Barnes' squad is facing number 14, North Carolina, in the Dean Dome. Okay, Demarcus Holland got off to a hot start helping the Horns here. He hits the lay-in just to get things started. And the very next UT possession, Demarcus Holland with the three. He had Texas's first seven points of the night. Texas established their dominance on the glass early. Texas up here 17-11. Isaiah Taylor misses the jumper, but Prince Ebay is there to tip it in. Now Texas down 21-19. This would be the last time Texas would trail all night long. Now under four minutes to play in the first. Isaiah Taylor misses the runner, but Lambert's there for the tip in. Texas dominating the glass in the first half. Lambert with 10 rebounds. Now under two minutes to play in the half. Texas up 10. Holmes turns it over, but Isaiah Taylor comes up with it. Hits the lay-in and the foul. What about the freshman? Great Isaiah body. Taylor. Jonathan Holmes, second half. We've seen some grit from this guy. He started getting cramps, but he would continue to play. Texas up six here. Holmes not feeling those cramps at the moment when he hits a three. Less than a minute later, UNC on the break, and Holmes gets in his way with the block. Jonathan Holmes, right here, Cam Ridley. They've been working on that play all summer, and finally, they got it in. UNC down seven. Leslie McDonald hits the three. UNC pulls it to within four. Now a minute later, UNC down three. Marcus Page misses the three. James Michael McAdoo with the rebound, but he gets the put back. Now UNC bringing it within one. Under four minutes to play. Game tied at 72, and Javon wow. Big shot, Bob. Hits the three. Under three to play. UNC down three. And they're going to work. They're going to work for that one. During this free throw, Holmes would have to be carried to the bench due to more cramps. The game's tied at 77 after the free throw. Javon Felix, we may have mentioned him before. Saw some ice water in his veins. Two minutes to play. The game's tied at 77. And Felix hits the runner, puts Texas up to 114 to play. Same score. And Felix he <laughs> wants the ball, wants it in his hands. Hits the three, Texas goes up five. Now 28 seconds to play. Texas is up four. Watch this closely from the high angle. North Carolina initially whistled for the foul, but you can see Roy Williams complain about Isaiah Taylor and the elbow. Okay, Taylor doesn't appear to draw contact, but he's called for a dead ball technical foul. The teams make two free throws each, but Carolina gets possession. And then Marcus Page hits that three. UNC is down by one. Holland at the free throw line after missing the first free throw, gets his own put back and... Big time shot by Demarcus Holland. Comes down to free throw blockouts. North Carolina didn't block out the shooter. Big time error on North Carolina's part. One last chance coming here for UNC. And Page, he cannot make it happen. He rims out the three. Texas holds on to win and they win for the first time ever against North Carolina on the heels home floor. Rick Barnes now 5-1 and one against UNC in the Roy Williams era. Jonathan Holmes goes for 15 points and 10 rebounds in the first time in his Texas career. The Longhorns snap a nine-game losing streak on the road against ranked opponents. Rick, you walked into the Dean Smith Center and said from the outset you wanted to run against a Carolina T Tar Heel team that's known for that. How impressed with what your young men did here are you tonight? I really am. I'm really proud and because we had to work through a lot of foul trouble. We did some things that we really haven't worked on very much. You know, we played a little one three and a chaser, a little triangle and two, and worked through some different things. But uh, I just like the grit we had. We just really fought hard and found a way and uh, just really proud of them. And they deserve I told them at halftime, I said, you guys deserve to, to win this game. And I said, but we've got to finish it. And they found a way to do it. Jonathan Holmes all night, or at least through the much of the second half, struggled with so much. It looked like cramping. Uh, what did you see from him in the second half, his ability to come in and out of the game? Well, he was. He, he really did it. You know, he played more minutes than he probably should have in the first half, but that was because of foul trouble. And he worked his way through it. He really did. And uh, But I'm really, I'm just proud of the whole team because we we found a way to piece it together and and uh, showed a lot of toughness. Really proud of him. Felix all night. I mean, this is a guy who shoots 34% on the year coming in, but the buckets he makes late, and particularly scores eight in one stretch. What did you think about the way that guy comported himself down the stretch? Well, I actually told him, Doris, I said, go get it. Go get the ball. And again, he, he can score the ball, and he, he missed some floaters in there that he normally makes, but uh, you could just tell he had it going. And, and I just said, I said, just go get the ball and, and make some plays, and he, and he did a great job.